Welcome back to this new series of... We don't know a name. We're taking applications for names. If you have a cool idea, wow, that sun's bright. As long as we're trying to make it tie into Mitsumoto's because that's where this whole thing is based off, you know, that's what we're calling our business, Mitsumoto's, something like that. Alrighty, we are off to Georgetown to go get a golf cart um, and possibly a bike, maybe, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we're going to Georgetown. A girl's meeting us from uh, Colorado Springs with a golf cart that apparently just needs batteries. We're paying 800 bucks for it. Uh, I think it's worth more than like 15, maybe. It's all the way to make money. Um, but yeah, it looked pretty sick. It was like lifted two inches, big wheels. It's sick. All right, guys, I was going to try and film us buying it, but it was super windy here and craziness. So hopefully this video turns out well because I had to film it, you know. Here's our 2000 Club Car DS golf cart, guys. It runs off battery, so it's electric. You know what it is. It's got the lift kit and the meaty wheels. So if we can't sell this thing, we're going to freaking rip it. You know, that's how we roll. We bought it for $800 and met halfway, so we each did a two-hour drive one direction. So, total of four hours of driving for us and the seller. So, I love it when people can meet us because it makes it much easier to sell. Let me show you guys some cool features. You know, so if we don't sell it, now we got a pickup truck. Yes, sir. And then this is where all the batteries would go. Charges right here. Forward, neutral, reverse, gas paddle. Oh, don't press that. The freaking parking brake's gonna come off. Parking brake and brake works really freaking well. Boom, you know. You got your new LED lights, along with these like little flashers for, I don't know, safety hazard stuff. Let's go. I so, what's loose on here, Kenny? Yeah, hold on really quick. Rear wheel drive, we're gonna donut this thing like crazy. What do you think, like all black? All black? <laughs> then black leather? Heck yeah, $800 boom just like that 100 bucks in gas to get here. So we're at 900 deep new batteries Run expensive. We need to get the 12 volt batteries for it. We need to get four of them So it's gonna run around I'd say two to four hundred to be safe depending on what brand we go with and Size and quantity, but I'm pretty sure we're going for 12 volts So yeah guys, we'll see how it works and hopefully we can get this thing up and going in Silt, Colorado, hunting and farming and ranch lands, pretty much, literally. I don't know if anybody rides golf carts. They all have side-by-sides that they rip on the streets and stuff. I don't know how it's gonna sell. We might be the only people with a ranch who own a golf cart ripping around on a ranch, but let's see how it goes, guys. It's gonna be pretty epic. Might be going into Silverthorne, getting a 2014 WR450F. If the guy does not sell it, I had it all lined up for today. Like I drove out here and I was planning on getting it. Drove out here for the golf cart, but he's in Silverthorne and I passed Silverthorne. I'm gonna be going straight back through it. It's two hours away from home. Um, so I really hope he doesn't sell it because I kind of was planning on that. Yeah, be sick if we get that. Later today, we're getting two snowmobile, two four wheelers. Cardi might be selling this, big day, big day, big day. Big day for Minty Motos, let's go. The game plan with this golf cart is it needs new batteries. So we're gonna do four 12 volt batteries. Next is it's probably gonna need a paint job. It looks like it's already been painted chrome over like the weird tan color of all golf carts. So I think we're gonna try and sand it all down, make it really nice and smooth looking, and then repaint the entire thing white or black. We can't decide on the two. Maybe we'll do hot pink, who knows? Baby blue, something like that. Yellow, I don't know, who cares? Camel, go hunting with it. That'd be a good one, because it's electric, it's quiet. So maybe we can sell it to some awesome hunters as and try to like be like, yeah guys, it's a good hunting vehicle, it's off-roadable. Two wheel drive, rear wheel drive, electric, only lasts five hours. So as long as you can go hunt in five hours and be back home, you're good. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna paint it, do that. We are now waiting in Silverthorne for that WR450, the 2014. We had a sale lined up, but the guy just f fell off the face of the earth. Boom, just pfft, no response. And we've been waiting for about 20 minutes. We're about to start heading home. And so yeah, we were ghosted 100% because the guy got a higher offer. So he took that. We didn't come out here for the WR, it was just like a side one that we were gonna be like, oh, I told him like, oh, we're coming out, I'll be there tomorrow, can you meet? And he ghosted me the whole time. But we came out here for the golf cart mainly, so like 20 minutes out of our day all, really. Yeah, guys, we got the golf cart, don't freaking jump! All right, guys, we're back from getting the golf cart. We also ended up grabbing a free snowmobile on our way back. It just needs a tune up, you know? 
our sister's boyfriend's dad, they hit it, sent it our way and was like, come grab this guys, it's free. So we snagged that and we're gonna go get two free quads later today. Guys, we got the coffee cart rolling. Run! Woo! Yeah, baby! Woo! Coffee cart already runs! Run! Just kidding, we're on the trailer with the new sled. You're not supposed to tell them that. No, yeah, they know. This video is all about this golf cart, guys. It's pretty sick. It's confusing to do these videos because because they're multiple days out from actually being made, you know? But literally, we're getting two quads today as well, and a sled and a golf cart. So the two quads are going to be like weeks from now when the video is actually out. The snowmobile is going to be a week or two out. This might even be a week or two out because I'm not making the video until we know what we're doing with it. Until we either sell this or keep it. You know, once we figure out what we're actually doing is when I'll upload the video. Because when we sell it, I want to have a profit and total cost and stuff like that. You know, and sell price at the end of the video so you guys know how we're wheeling and dealing and what we're making and how we're doing it, you know? So I want to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible. So that's why this video's all about the golf cart. If you follow our Instagram, Kellogg's for Kids or Minty Motos, you guys will see it's gonna be all over the place. Like, I haven't even seen this. Like, what the heck? They have this now or this? Because that the videos are so delayed. It is November 6th today. And watch when this video is gonna be uploaded, at least like a week or two. So it's all crazy and a mess. But as long as we're keeping you guys updated in the loop on each video and keeping it organized, you guys will have no idea. You only know because I told you. So let's get this thing unloaded. Boom. This is our um, project shelter. Let's go with that. This is where they go. Wow, we order parts. We are back with the golf cart today, guys. It's been weeks since we've gotten it now. Uh, we haven't done much work except for a bunch of research looking for batteries. So confusing. They, they, the batteries are not normal batteries. They're, it's crazy. So we think we got right ones. So we'll be getting those today. We have been thinking about repainting it completely. We're thinking about going black or maybe just back to white or like a dark navy blue. And then also reupholstering the seats with like a dark leather. But I don't think we're going that route, guys. We're already after the batteries. We're gonna be like 1700 deep. And I'm not sure how much these even go for. So I think we're posting it 3K, you know, just to see. I know some golf carts go for insane amounts. Like I'm talking five to $8,000 or more. Some are even over $10,000, even if they're used. Even though this is an older golf cart, it's gonna have all new batteries. It's gonna look really clean. It's gonna run absolutely perfect. I guess to even say run. But yeah, so let's get to cleaning it and then we can get those batteries. AutoZone has them, we think. So we're gonna go from there. All right, so I literally just coated the entire thing in purple power. This stuff is by far my favorite stuff I've ever used. It is crazy how much it actually makes a difference and how much it actually cleans it. So this is a really bad paint job. Like, just look at this. Like all that there, just tons of just little things like that. Film that back. just don't look good yeah, like at this. all. Like it is just everywhere. We have a paint gun. I think we're just gonna pull it apart, take the body panels off or maybe leave them on, whatever's easiest. And just go with our spray gun, gloss black or something like that, just to make it look clean again. All right, so we ran over to AutoZone and we picked up six of these bad boys. These are six volt batteries so golf cart batteries um they were each ran like 100 each probably close to 600 for just batteries which is pretty crazy honestly if you think about it um so we're gonna go ahead and slap these batteries in and go from there so i was not there when the batteries were bought and i thought some decent basic measuring was taken but i guess dally just wanted to spend some money so there are two go parallel next to the here 
and these batteries are shorter than the previous, I guess, batteries that these were made for. So the fit is barely in there without them falling down and we don't want that to be an issue. So currently I'm drilling holes because we do not have a welder, which would make this job so much easier. I'm drilling this in here to bolt it in so that we have two batteries on this side, no way of falling through. We have to figure out something to do in the middle on this one, and we need to figure out something to do on the side one here. And we have another issue, guys. So these cables to daisy chain each battery together not fit on these terminals right here. These battery posts are way too thick. You can see, like, way too thick. So we just need to get adapters that go onto the big port these and then have a smaller bolt on top that we can slide these on and tighten them down. Pretty much what all batteries have. I'm surprised they didn't come with them, honestly. But yeah, you attach these smaller cables to them and they have the massive big clamps that go onto the terminal. That is what we're missing. And that is what we need. So clearly it's a common part. So we're gonna call up, let's go. AutoZone, could you please hold? Yes. AutoZone is hiring. Immediate positions for retail sales associates and delivery drivers are open at your local store. Thank you for holding. How can I help you today? Hey, I'm just curious if you guys have any marine battery terminal posts. It looks like we are out of stock right now with the sales associates and delivery drivers are open at your local store. Um, well, I'll hold on that for now, and I'll call you guys back up either later tonight or tomorrow if I end up needing them. I'm going to look around and see if I can find anybody with them in stock, and I'll, I'll give you guys a call back. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. You as well. Okay, so they're $7.99 for two, so technically each one's $4, um, and they're hiring. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got out of that call for 10 minutes. I got their hiring and that they're expensive. Just got back from O'Reilly's, uh, grabbed those battery terminal thingy, machines. Um, so yeah, we're, we just put them on the batteries. And so that's that. They only, had three though. they only had three in stock. Well, I guess six in stock because there were two packs, little ones. But uh, so we're gonna have to order more or something. So the first two batteries fit in with the new bracket. Over here, I'm gonna cut the metal to sit on the bottom for this side, which is 10 and a quarter, boom, and 15 inches, boom, right like that. So I'm just gonna cut out that rectangle and slap it in the bottom. So, worst cut ever, but I mean, that's how small my wheel got. <laughs> so the metal I cut fit absolutely perfectly, holds these two batteries. We already cut that middle one. So those are all in, batteries are all in. We just gotta daisy chain them together, but we still need the terminal post adapters like so, so that we can daisy chain them, as you can see. This is a whole mess of wiring, guys. It is super weird. We're trying to daisy chain all six batteries to make one big one, but then there's so many different like charging lines that come in, motor, like the motor cables that come up. So it's hard to figure out which one goes where. So, I mean, it's, it's a pain. Trying to figure out why the lights don't work. We don't think they're wired to the batteries. Trying to figure out how to get this off so that we can literally just see all the wiring and then possibly just go paint those because we might still paint it black or something. We don't know. We don't really know. So we figured out the batteries for the most part, guys. It was really confusing. Wires were all over the place. We were missing this weird fuse and this wire was ran into a different position and this green as well. So we have that all figured out. There's a few other things we're trying to do, like the lights, the horn, the voltage display was broken, so we're trying to fix that. Then it's just hoping it runs, guys. Fingers crossed that it runs. Fingers crossed. Because um, it's electrical and we suck at electrical. That goes to the lights, Tally, see? So all those controls, all wired in this. So we found a fuse blown. We tracked the wires all the way up and realized that they go here and here. So it's connected, and we're just going to see if we have something wrong and that's or a short and that's where the fuse is blowing or if the fuse was just blown so that fuse didn't change anything guys something's wired weird yeah all right so we have continuity from each power source so now we know that it's something to do with the light so we're gonna attach one of our old supermoto lights to it and see if it lights up because then we know it's something with the actual headlights itself so put the red in the red and the black in the black wait boom 
We gotta okay. get another night light. Okay, okay, so it's something with these okay, things. Every on. last one, though, Let me you're see. saying it's headlight and taillight bulbs that are all blown? That's crazy, but at least we figured that out. So now we know that we're getting power. We can't figure out the entire horn because it is just a big, massive mess. It looks like the previous owner added a whole light system. I don't even know if it had lights to begin with because if you look, this is cut literally just like terribly, and they just slapped lights in there is what it looks like so that's why that wiring is all just screwed up and crazy i hate wiring after other people it is the worst so everybody else gave up early and rowdy and i stayed down here and we freaking got the blinkers to <laughs> correct <laughs> okay they were just working <laughs> what did we do no wait Okay, that's weird. They only work if you're not using your headlights. While we tore the lights off, we had to take the body and stuff off. So we're just gonna, just gonna paint it. Here with me, I got some gloss black spray paint. I gotta sand it all down, it's gonna be a lot of work. We got new lights. I don't know where they are. But we got new lights because ours were dead, completely dead. So I bought like $85 lights off of Amazon because of the taillights, headlights, all the wiring, a new switch and everything. So uh, I'm gonna do that after I'm done painting it. Do little coats. All right, we got the golf cart all cleaned up and sanded down. Now we are pretty much ready to do a little coat of paint. Do light coat, Kenny. Holy smokes. There we go, yes. This is gonna look good, really, really good. We gotta let it totes dry. I think no, it was already 400 no. ponies, no, we and now we're going this, to like this is 250. We have an aftermarket turbo in there. Yeah. Um, that gives it uh, like an extra like 431 horsepower. So now we're at like 800. Mm. So I just popped all these back on and it looked pretty bad because they're all really discolored. I mean, the old owners literally just spray painted over it and painted it all chrome, but paint is cheap. We did not go professional because we're not gonna get this professional. The freaking fairings and stuff are already all beat up and you can see like big gouges taken out and like dents and they're all scuffed. So we're not going professional anyways, as long as we can make it look a little bit better. So when somebody comes to look, it looks better, you know? And it's gonna last just as much as it, the chrome was gonna cause it was spray paint too. But we did, we sanded the body down as best as possible and did a nice coat. So it should last and it looks really good honestly in person, but we're not gonna get it perfect. So there's no reason to go perfect paint, you know? But as long as it looks better, that's all we're going for. And it definitely looks better. I'm unboxing the lights and seeing what all I gotta do for them. Should just be like slap them in pretty freaking easy. That one's reading. I don't want that. Oh. Some zip ties. Okay, cool. What about rear? Wait, something just went out. It died. One of the lights are dead that came in this package. But tail light work, gonna install the other one, still got screwed in. And this light works, but that one is dead. So rather than all the lights being dead, we're just gonna have one light that's dead. Look how bright it is though. Put oh, both lights in, they both fry. But look at the whole golf cart. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty freaking sick. We decided we're not even gonna return these because look, we still got blinkers. Oh my, those are bright, turn them off. And we got hazards. Dad, holy. So, Cardi we're gonna keep them, cause then like, Bacardi's tightening on this uh, scrape bar. Yeah. We just got the roof installed. Pretty bad paint job, but I mean, I don't really care. Just look at this thingy. Looks so good. Where are you going? 
Just leave it here. It really doesn't matter. I'm trying to get it so that's not in the background. I hate when things like that are in the background. It kind of hides it because it's black on black. You can look at this. Looks so freaking good. Watch out. So the golf cart is pretty much officially done. We're going to plug it in underneath our covered area. Um, the paint job looks pretty good, honestly. It turned out pretty sweet. It dries pretty good. But we're going to go list this thing for sale and see if we get any offers. Hopefully we do because we've had this thing far too long. Let's get after it. And it's charging. This thing is awfully loud. Annoying as heck. But yeah, guys, all batteries in place. Paint looks decent. Lift is sick. It looks better than it did. That's all that matters. And hopefully somebody wants it. The new lights look pretty good. Even though the front one's fried again, we're going to let everybody know it. The front headlights don't work, but blinkers do. And you have these little side lights that work enough. So, yeah, guys, let's go list it for sale. We had someone wanting to come look at the golf cart today. We have it listed around like 37, but they offered 3K. It's been up for a little over a week. So we're like, all right, we're entertaining that. So they're coming to check it out and hopefully we can film, but we'll see how it goes. And hopefully they buy it because we need that thing gone. And look at that, $3,000 guys, just like that. That's simple, it's pretty awesome. Um, we didn't film them, but uh, it's okay because as long as we sold it and we got you guys the rest of the video. So that's literally how we deal guys. We buy, build and sell. It's a pretty, it's a pretty awesome little gig. We taught ourselves how to do it. Literally from YouTube videos and online forums, just reading. Literally we're little mechanics now. We're our own boss and our coworkers are brothers. So I mean, what more can you ask for? I went ahead and wrote down all the info on my phone. So I have it right here and it's super simple and easy. So the total cost, so the price of the golf cart and all the parts we put into it was a total of $1,693, which honestly is not that bad how much we put into it. The only thing is we didn't know how much it was actually gonna be worth, but luckily we sold it for $3,000. So that is the sale price, 3,000. So if you do the math, our net profit is $1,306. Guys, that's honestly pretty darn good. We almost doubled. So literally, I, I think that's a huge success right there, even though it was kind of nerve wracking. We only sat on the golf cart after it was done for a week and a half. A week is usually on that scale of time frame of when we sell something, honestly. It's un usually under a week, so yeah, so that's not too bad. But yeah, almost doubling, 300 shy of double is honestly freaking awesome, pretty darn good. And it was a blast doing it, you know, it's fun. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. I guarantee it's better than the, the freaking Dakota on our previous video. Next video is going to be the ATVs. We already sold one. We're just waiting on selling the next one. We have a few buyers lined up. That'll be coming next. Then we also have a new car. It's a 2014 Ford Escape that needs a new transmission. We got it for $2,000 and we just bought a transmission for $3,100. So that's freaking steep. But I mean, yeah, guys, we got to just swap the transmission out and that'll be up for sale as well. So stay tuned for those videos, guys. They're going to be coming down pretty fast. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. One last thing guys, head over to Minty Moto's YouTube channel and or Instagram because we just built Supermotos and we will be ripping them. The next few videos are going to be all about these and we are currently building one more Supermoto. So guys, stay tuned for those if you follow Minty Moto's. Awesome. If not, you should go ahead and check them out because those things are a blast. They're going to be so much fun and make amazing videos. I can't wait. But yeah, this time, actually see you later. Thank you for watching. You guys have a wonderful week.